Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest player the Premier League has ever seen. Oh, you're going to tell me Dennis Bergkamp? No. Patrick Vieira? No. Tony Adams? No. Thierry Henry's? Thank you. I was waiting for how long you're going to call out his name. Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry is the best player to play in the Premier League. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ronaldo done his best work in the Liga. <laughs> The man himself. <laughs> a legend in your own making, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good, mate. I'm good, good. man. Good. The legendary Andy Tate in the building, man. Legend robber. <laughs> United's treble winning team was better than the Invincibles. I'm still going to go Invincibles, Andy, man, because it's never, ever been done. Right, and it's not been done since, despite you know City spending billions, Chelsea spending billions. They ain't been able to do it. You guys ain't been able to do it. And even despite that great team that you had, you weren't able to do it either. So, but you you drew twelve games. Twelve. So, you know, games. not you as well. You know, twelve you know, games you drew. Oh, you, know, you were invincible. Don't get me wrong. That was it. You know what? This well, thing. You, you why didn't you draw them? In all the league titles that you won, why didn't you draw a load and become invincible? You know you'd love to have that. We, well, we're treble winners, mate. We st Why didn't you draw us? We lost to Middlesbrough. I went on a completely unbeaten run to the end of the season, and we took you out as well. And you along can the remember way. it. I can and remember you can remember it. it. I was there at Villa Park when Vieira made So you were invincible mistake. from Middlesbrough to the end of the season, and you remember that. Yeah, but we got three trophies. But you want to you want to diss us we, and talk about? We got three trophies. You want to talk about? We made something that only a few teams could do in the world. Only a few. Only a few. Only one has been invincible. And I'm getting fed up with this thing about draws, right? We won the league, it was in the bag, and now what we wanted to do is just make sure that we got over the line, because Wenger said it from the start of the season, we'll go the whole season un invincible. And everybody laughed at him. <laughs> like your manager always used to be laughing at Arsene Wenger all the time. He made saying, changes in the semi-final against United, and that cost you the FA Cup as well as the Champions League. You it's were going for the treble that season. You were going to win everything. And you, it, it, you say, you, you play your strongest side over and over and over and you push and you push and we pushed to the point and we gave everything and we got the rewards, but you made mistakes at, at, at games of the season. It did used to, I ain't going to lie, it used to annoy me that Arsene Wenger didn't always go with the strongest team because I think we would have won more, you know, maybe you we- You FA Cup holders at the time. Yeah. So yeah. that was your FA Cup. You, you consider that your trophy? We would consider it our trophy. We got a gold one, mate. Gold. Gold, so what? Gold. Gold. So, there's only one other thing in the world. A World Cup. You can't win that, can you? That's the only other gold trophy in the world. Yeah, so we got one of the two. Ah, you haven't got, mate. <laughs> you haven't got anything, mate. Would you rather win the treble or be invincible? Considering only a few teams over the years. The great Ajax side, Barcelona, Bayern Munich have only do it. Invincible man, stuff like that. <laughs> no, I'm only lying. Yeah, I'd rather, if I'm being honest, I'd rather have won the treble because you know that is unbelievable achievement, and we haven't won the Champions League, and it still annoys me that we haven't won the Champions League, especially when I see Chelsea winning it, especially when I see City have nearly won it. Even a couple of years ago, Tottenham nearly did it. You came so close as we well. We came so close, so that annoys me. But you know, yeah, I don't, if I'm being honest, yeah, the treble. Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest player the Premier League has ever seen. Come on, Andy, you know it's not true. Oh, you're going to tell me Dennis Bergkamp? No. Patrick Vieira? No. Tony Adams? No. Thierry Henry's? Thank you. I was waiting for how long you're going to call out his Thierry name. Thierry Henry, wow. Thierry Henry is the best player to play in the Premier League. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ronaldo done his best work in La Liga for Real Madrid. Yeah, he, he did well for you guys, but then he left. Thierry Henry, best player for me ever to play in the Premier League. Nah, we won Ronaldo, mate. Only because that's He left, it. he was there, he's a great... He won everything in six years. Did, did Thierry Henry win everything? No, he didn't win everything. Mm. But again, as I referred no, back to, as I said to you... He won a World Cup, yeah. He won a World Cup. Yeah, he won a European <laughs> Championship, so did Ronaldo. I disagree with you. Yeah, I'd say what, Thierry Ronaldo's Henry... Ronaldo's a great player. He won a Champions Thierry. League with Barcelona. Yeah. He went yeah, to Barcelona yeah. and he, he, cut, he cut up La Liga. And, uh, he, I say, he beat Man United in the final with Pep. 
Yep. Two thousand and nine. So Ronaldo he, went. He got, one, he got a Champions League trophy for him more than you. Ronaldo won Ballon d'Or in that. Yeah. Uh, um, Real Madrid. Is Thierry Henry won a Ballon d'Or? He was robbed. He should have been Ballon d'Or winner. Ronaldo won his first Ballon d'Or at Man United. Oh, did he? In his season I thought, and I... winning the Champions League as well. He done his best work at Real Madrid. You know that. He was a great player. We. He was a great player. He would have won. That took a chance on him. You were the one who missed out on Ronaldo because Arsene Wenger even looked at him in 2003 and it was, it's, clearly, it's clearly been stated that of is what true. Of you, you could have had. You could have had Thierry Henry and, uh, and Ronaldo in the same squad. Right, don't remind me of that, don't remind me of that. In the same squad. Such a legend at your place, he was about to go to Man City. Oh, was he though? Come on. Like I said. Come on, Andy, like he's I about to go. Out, like I called out Noel Gallagher. It was all part of the master plan. No, no master plan. The day before he signed for you guys, when it looked like he was going to City, what was you saying? I know you. I'll, I'll, I'll be openly admitting I was really hurt. <laughs> but now, what were you saying? I said. Yeah, I've heard a little. Well, I'll, I'll say this now. Uh, coming here to this nice arena. Uh, the gentleman in the taxi told me a little story and she's God's honest truth, this happened about an hour ago. The taxi driver told me he was holidaying in Menorca in the summer and uh, basically Ronaldo was staying in a, on the island, he was in a restaurant and he had a chinwag with this gentleman and basically his grandson went up to him, got an autograph and uh, he, he said at the same time Alex Ferguson was on the island at the same time as Ronaldo. So may and this was in June, so maybe it wasn't all, you know what I mean? It was all hush hush. Oh, give me that. You know, it's God's oh, truth. The, the, the gentleman in the taxi, he was from the East End, West Ham end, West Ham fan. Don't believe West Ham fans, man. <laughs> Trust me. And that hotel was probably owned by the Qataris. <laughs> and, he was, and, he, and he was set to come to Man City. But Mikel Arteta is a better manager than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. <laughs> I know where you're going with this. Just because you've won an FA Cup. Trophies, mate. Trophies. He won a trophy. I will go with Ole only because he came in at a bad time. So the place, yeah, the place was toxic. It was absolute desert after Mourinho. He steadied the ship. He took us on a 17 game unbeaten run and it fell like the old days. And he's taken us to third place, second place. A final. You've got brilliant players. Pogba, Ronaldo, Mason Greenwood, Rashford, Maguire, Varane, right throughout your team. De Gea, you've got a great side already. Mikel Arteta came in and took over like, he took a dizzer over as well. You're talking about you got to the final Europa League, but that was only because you finished third in your group in the Champions League, right? Remember that, he got knocked out of the that. Champions League in the group stages, right? This is we Oli. We beat PSG, then, we beat Leipzig. And you got knocked we, out. We fell at the you last You got hurdle. knocked out. Have you seen the... Champions League football for a while? I haven't, no. No, oh, well, but I have. You, I've, yeah, but I've you've enjoyed got a better it. team. No, no, don't use that because you've got a way better team. And I'm saying that that team should have got out of that group. He's got Ronaldo at the moment. He's still flopping. Oh. He, you said steady the ship, he's like that. You know that tanker? They got stuck in the Suez Canal. Yeah, I do, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's his, that's the ship. The blockage. Yeah, the blockage. There's that's the ship. A, there's a blockage somewhere. Yeah, that's he's at the wheel of that. He's, he's at the wheel of that, mate. That's the ship. He's at the wheel. Yeah, but our setter, like, he's just he's on a he's on a hiding to nothing. He's what uh, well, he's been treated. He's getting used lot. Of game. You give him an hard time. One minute, like you go on a five game unbeaten run. You beat Spurs last month. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's the best being six sliced bread. No, we never said that. You know, you drew two all on Monday with Crystal Palace and you're celebrating like you won the FA Cup again. Would Arteta do a better job with that team at Old Trafford? And what would and what would Oli bring to Arsenal? Would, would he get anywhere? <laughs> Oli gets relegated, mate, the way we've been playing. Um, I think Arteta would do a better job. I do, he's, he'd have better players. Could he manage Eagles? Could he manage, I manage think he could. Ronaldo, Cavani? Pogba. Yeah, I reckon he could. I reckon he could. I, I, I reckon he'd do a better job. Remember, he was at City and he had loads of egos there. So I reckon he, I reckon he'd do a better you know, job. You can be a, you can be a cracking number two, but you can't be sometimes a number one. I agree with that. I agree with that. I'm just purely judging it off of the fact that if they both stopped being a manager right now, 
Mikel Arteta could say, I want a trophy. <laughs> wow. Wow, one trophy, one trophy. I mean, and Oli as much will be as right. I crave a trophy, I want a trophy. It's about co- continue. It's about progression and progression and progression. Now we're still knocking on the door. Whether we get through the door no one's is opening another it. thing. No one's opening it, mate. Only one the person. The door's locked. Yeah, only one person and can open the door. And the door will be locked as long as your Oli is there. Well, the door will be permanently locked for you for the next five years. No, but we've opened out. it before. You've opened it. We've once. opened it before. But you will never get the trinkets, the more trinkets. That FA Cup should lead to more. But you, do, you can't get them more, can you? I you don't know, I could see. You could have got Europa League final, and be, played us and beat us this year. You would have went to the Champions League, and that was it. You actually, you actually. We blew it. You blew it against Villarreal. We blew it. We blew I it against Villarreal. I thought we'd be playing you. I was yeah. really fucking. Somebody else blew it against Villarreal as well, though. Yeah, we did, we did. <laughs> so, right? So I'm saying. And that was your former manager? True. <laughs> so he, he stuck, strung you up like a kipper. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Keane was a better player than Patrick Vieira. Well, we both set our targets, so I'll go first. Uh, Roy Keane, he led by example. He's won everything in the, in the game. And he spoke out even when he shouldn't have done on his exit from Manchester United and he said what needed to be said even though it cost Chucked him. Chucked out from Man United, wasn't he? Well, he was chucked out but it, out. He, was, he, he had to say what was needed to be said because at the time we were soft-centred. Well, I'm going Vieira. Vieira is an all-round footballer. They were both very similar into what's, you know, they were both sort of like players that were like defensive midfielder stroke box-to-box midfielder and you know what? There's not really been any players since like him. You know, I'd say as an all-round footballer, Vieira was better. And when you say, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the anger, see? Know, that's the anger. That's what they were always going at each other yeah, as well. Yeah. And when you say, when you say, right, that Roy Keane's won everything in the game, he hasn't. He didn't win a World Cup. Vieira is a World Cup winner as well. So he's, apart from the Champions League, has won everything in the game. It but was. we know Roy Keane's the best because why would Vieira bottle it twice? Bottle it, Bottle it in, the, in, the, in the dressing room in the tunnel at Highbury. Well, you're lucky, mate. You're yeah. lucky you didn't stick it on him. Trying to intimidate Gary Neville and Roy Keane's like, I'll see you out on the pitch. Gary, he he roughed Vieira up Gary Neville. absolutely packed it, man. It no, he didn't. He no, he did. didn't. He did. No, he didn't. Even Roy Keane, when they, they've had things since, they've done that documentary. Roy Keane said, oh, I respected him because he was the one guy that stood up to me, he didn't back down. He didn't yeah, take that's who won it, I breathe. He uh, didn't back down, uh, right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Roy Keane's lucky he didn't stick it on him. He grabbed him by the throat, though, didn't he? Uh, so he grabbed him by the throat, <laughs> and then he grabbed him by the throat. <laughs> right, he's lucky. Well, why did he bolt in the, in the tunnel? Why he did didn't he... bolt in the tunnel. Why did he bolt in he the tunnel? He had the whole side nervous. He had oh, your whole yeah, side nervous, yeah, look yeah. at Gary Neville. Yeah, he scored, then that's it. Arsenal fell me. apart second half, didn't he? Roy, help me, help me. Right? <laughs> see you out on the pitch. I see you on the pitch. Ah, That's what he said. Load out that noise, noise, mate. Robbie, I mean, it's unfair, unfair to say that uh, Roy King didn't win the World Cup. He's an Irishman. Right? Remember, uh, <laughs> Remember that, not only did he not win the World Cup with Ireland, he ran out on it. <laughs> Are you forgetting that? He quite spent time with his dogs. Not wrong with that. <laughs> Mason Greenwood will become a better player than Saka. I'll go Saka. I'll go Saka. I, 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 I think Saka potentially will become better. And the reason why I say that is that he's more focused than Greenwood. You speak to anybody who knows him, they say that this kid is just like dedicated to his football. He's such a nice kid, you know. Focus and there is no, you know, you can see why Gareth Southgate always picks him and trusts him for England. Greenwood, on the other hand, was doing so well was progressing, then what did he do? And I'm not gonna go in too hard on him because he's a youngster, he's a young kid. And when I was that age, I was doing stupid things as well. But even Foden, but that's cost him because he should really be playing for England now, I feel. And that's cost him. And then I also look on it and say to myself, at United, is he gonna get held back a bit? Because Ronaldo's there, because Cavani's there, Rashford, so many brilliant players that are kind of in front of him, they're the senior guys. This time will come, but they're kind of the senior guys now. 
and they're going to be the senior guys for the next couple of seasons, right? Whereas Saka, he's one of the main guys at Arsenal. He's like, right now, you're, you're the main guy. We're relying on him, right? So he's one of the main guys. So I think that will enable him to flourish more and to grow quicker. The goals he scored in his first season, he, well, he, I've, I've watched him in the reserves with my dad over the years. This kid, he, he knows where the goal is. No, he's great in his, in his first season, like I say, he scored, was it 14 goals? He scored on his debut, oh, that was your Europa League, but he's got, uh, he's, he can score with his left foot, right foot, he can take on players. But he's going to get held back now that all of those players that I just said are in front of him. I mean, yeah, you can learn from a Ronaldo, but Ronaldo starts, isn't it? He? he ain't going to get in front of Ronaldo, is he? But the kids, was it 20? He's, he's 20. You got Ronaldo, 36, Cavani, 34, 35, coming to the end of their careers. He's going to learn from two living legends. He could save us a packet. He could be on the same level as Haaland, Mason, and I think he's going to do, do that. He's going to save us at least, he's going to be a £100 million player, I would say, within the next three years. It's two great young players. Again, I'm signing with my guy. I'm signing with Mason. Saka. The Arsenal United rivalry of the early 2000s was the best the Premier League has seen. 100%. I miss those days. I really miss those days. That was... You know, you know what? That rivalry was like, it was like we were neighbours. That was like a local derby, despite the fact that like, you know, we're hundreds of miles apart. It was just a deadly rivalry. Everything about it, the two managers were completely different. The styles of the team were different. You know, Roy Keane and Vieira, Wenger, Fergie. You know, Fergie time. Schmeichel against David Seaman and all yeah, that as well. Yeah, it, it was just, it, just everything about it. it. When those games came around, there's never been nothing like it since. But it's just a shame it's it's not there. I mean, you've got American owners like, like us and they, they care for nothing. They don't get it. They, they, they don't they, understand they don't it. Get, they don't get English don't football. Understand you've it. got Cronky, we've got the Glazers. Yeah, they don't understand and it. And basically, uh, they, they tried to basically destroy English football mm. last summer. And they were, were all in denial. I mean, you didn't want to be, you felt left out. I was, I'll be honest, I was ready to walk away from supporting United. Mm. I would have watched them on the telly, but I would have stopped going. But we're actually agreeing on some things, you yeah, know. I'll, I'll, I'll drink I'm going to salute that, yeah. you, know, you know I mean? Because we are agreeing, you know, in those days, I would never thought I'd agree with anything a Man United fan said. <laughs> no. Maybe the sound's going through the roof as well, isn't it? <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just think you guys are quiet. That's fair enough. Mm. I mean, you say we only sing because there's nothing to sing about. <laughs> You've got loads of things to sing about and you still don't no, sing. No, we do sing. I got told you, it's just I tell you what, because of the you size guys of the are really loud outside the stadium with the protest. Biggest so. stadium in the country, that's the issue. So. You're really loud yeah. outside the stadium with the protest. Hallanoise up there, wasn't yeah. it? Hallanoise. <laughs>